right, ladies and gentlemen of Solid Ground and Couch Tater. Um, this is a little impromptu video. Uh, we got a little conundrum going on with Primerize Me. And I know a lot of you guys are jumping ship for other services, but I promise you this. Uh, the issues they're having with Rapigator and Uploaded, they're just going to trickle down to all the other providers out there. So there's a lot of people out there with a lot of time left on their Primerize Me accounts. So what do we do with them? How do we use them? What is the direction that Primerize Me is headed? Um, basically what I've been told is those two services, they're the big dogs right now, they've went down. So Primerize Me is kind of refocusing their site. They're still going to offer all the other shared hosters, um, but as the other hosters start to learn to block them, etc., you're going to see these sites start to go away. So we can either move on with the times or start buying our crap. Alright, so what I want to cover real, well, I won't say briefly, it's probably going to be about a 10 minute video, um, but is their torrent downloader. We're all afraid of torrents. Um, you got the three strikes with your ISP, you're reported, uh, they can pick up on torrent activity, etc. I was a big hater of torrents myself. Um, not even sure if this screen is recording. My little lines went away. Alright, uh, anyways, off topic, yeah, you can tell I'm not feeling really well. But I did want to touch base on this. And the thing with torrents is, like I said, we're all afraid of them. We don't want to use them uh, because of that fact. So, what is the Primerize Me Torrent Downloader, how do we use it, and what does it do for us? Okay, one, it allows you to download a torrent to their servers. You never have to touch the torrent file, you're not uploading files, it cannot be tracked back to you, and what you're left with is a direct download that you can download from their servers. So what I'm going to do is pick a really popular movie. Um, so let's just open up a new tab. And here's one of my favorite torrent sites as of right now. Um, it's kickass.so. You can see that here. K-I-C-K-A-S-S dot S-O. Alright, and we've got a listing. Basically, I'm just going to click on 1080p because that's what I download and I've probably downloaded pretty much everything on here. Um, is there anything that I need to replace? I'm not sure. I'll tell you what, let's just go for a different one. Uh, let's just go and see what's new in movies. Maybe there's some cool DVD-Rs or um, DVD screener of American Sniper. Alright, so if we take a look at this one, what we're going to look at is the Cedars right here. 28,000 seeders. This thing is going to download lightning fast. Okay, so if you're on this site, a little bit about it, we're going to be looking at this section here as well as the file size. Okay, This one is how many comments there are on the file, so if you want to go in and look at the, what other people are saying, the ratings, is it out of sync, etc. Uh, you can do that. Um, this is a verified torrent. So, meaning it's been verified to be virus free, so forth. Okay, I'm not really sure what that one is. Never used it. This is your magnet link. Looks like a little magnet. That's the one we're going to focus on. And here you can download the torrent file. This is for people that seed torrents and use torrent clients like uTorrent, etc. We're not going to use that this is the one we want to focus on um, and I've been doing this long enough I'm not even going to go into it check it out etc uh, if there's that many cedars I know this is a good file so I'm going to right click the magnet and I'm going to copy the link location and now I'm going to go into my Primerize Me account and I'm going to click on the downloader and yeah I've already got some that I still need to download. Um, I'm just going to paste that file in here, paste that link, and click Submit. Now if I scroll to the bottom, 
here it's going to load and while that's loading and doing its thing and this is not going to take any time probably uh, unless my internet slows it down which it shouldn't alright so if we take a look and if you're an elite member we do have the elite uh, torrent section that I added there's not much there yet it's something that I was playing around with as you can see all the poster by me um, just kind of playing around with it at the time uh, when it when they first introduced it so these are a bit old but it is a place to share those links so you don't even have to go to kick ass up torrents if you don't want to um, what I ask is if you are one that shares if you find one that's got like the one we just downloaded uh, or added had a ton of cedars go ahead and share that I mean other people don't have to go searching for it okay alright so now I'm gonna go back over to Primrise Me it's still loading refresh the page they are working on their services this morning so alright just to keep the video short I'm gonna go ahead and show you one of these um, this Dumb and Dumber 2 it, that literally took like 30 seconds uh, for it to download to their servers and so once it's downloaded this go to download you see it's grayed out here because that one's not done uh, it'll say go to download and it'll say finished so I'm just gonna click on it and you can click here to download the whole folder as a zip but in this case it's Dumb and Dumber 2 it's not gonna need subtitles so forth I don't want to download the whole package uh, so I'm just gonna click on the folder and I know this 4 gig file right here is the one that I want to download so I'm just going to right click I use Internet Download Manager I'm sure you know how to do it with whatever manager you use uh, so I'm just going to right click and download with IDM and it's not going to let me because it says I'm already downloading it uh, which one I've not downloaded Birdman yet so go to download same thing I know this is not going to require uh, subtitles so I'm just going to right click on the 5 gig file I don't want the NFO, I don't want the subtitles um, I don't want the sample etc. So I'm just going to right click there download with IDM you'll see it pops up, I'm going to wait for it to give me the file size there we go and click start download um, I've already got several going so I'm not going to download it right now um, but I will show you and I download at about 600 to 700 um, kilobits a sec, kilobytes a second um, so I'll pull this over here so you can see I'm downloading this one here um, at 300 but it's a 15 gig file um, I'm downloading this one at 380 to 400 and it's a four gig file. Okay, leave that back over here. And that's all there is to it. So you never have to touch the torrent. And you've got tons, tons of downloads readily available. And if we start sharing these on Silent Ground and Couch Tater, etc., then you're not going to have to go searching for them. Uh, for instance, on Couch Tater with our nightly TV shows, chances are what I'm going to come in here and do and have the staff start doing is just to look up what aired last night and when they add all those direct download links that you guys are so used to I'm gonna have them put a magnet link at the bottom of it for instance the flash aired last night there's 40,000 seeders that's not gonna take any time to download but I've got a couple more minutes on this video so I'm just gonna try this again so I do watch the flash so I'm just gonna right click the magnet link copy link location Primerize me, paste, and submit. And you'll see this happen when I've got a lot loaded and I've got a lot going on. Um, this morning I didn't have anything going on, so it just they finished incredibly fast. Refresh the page. And that's all there is to it.
and you just wait for those to finish and then you download them. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask on the boards, uh, send me a private conversation, whatever. I'll be happy to go over it with you, uh, teach you how to use these features and so forth. Uh, but there's just too much to use our Primorosme accounts for. They're coming up with a lot of new services, their VPN, uh, their Usenet for you Usenet fans. Um, so there's plenty to do and there's really no use to go shopping elsewhere because I do promise you this. Um, their coders are top notch so all these other services you're going to see them starting to go down on these big hosters as well um, simply because they took out the big dog first they're figuring out how to block them and so forth they will eventually block everybody um, and they've still got plenty of services up like one feature uh, is running fine for me right now if I do have to go for a direct download uh, Turbo Bit is working extremely well uh, the one feature is working extremely well uh, File Factory is working extremely well, but um, I'm hearing some things that people are saying File Factory is hit and miss, hit and miss. Um, that's a yes and no. Uh, for some reason, I can't get it to start uh, with my IDM, my Internet Download Manager. But if I copy that File Factory link and come in here to the downloader, and just like we did with the Magnet Link, paste it in here and click Submit. Let me see if I can find one for you real quick. Um, let's see here today's post. I'm on Couch Tater now. Um, the Flash. Let's see if anybody posted a file factory link. Okay, so file factory. I'm just going to copy that link and submit. I probably should have checked it to see if it was good or not. No, it's already dead. Um, there's another file factory. Let's see if it's actually working. Okay, that one's found. And it may just be because they're working on their servers, I'm not sure. Fresh. But if you paste the link in, typically it'll come up there. Um, I do know they're working on their servers all morning this morning, trying to get all these other services up and running and working together. So that could be an issue. Uh, but I'm still downloading all these other files that I've added just fine. Um, so anyways, yeah, now you know how to do it. Just give it a test run. Uh, probably work better for you. Like I said, I'm maxing out my bandwidth right now. So anyways, if you've got questions, give us a shout or ask on the boards. Test it out for yourself. So don't just limit yourself to what you're used to doing because it's time. If you remember Rapid Share, we eventually had to move on. We all got tied up in Rapid Share. Uh, because it was the best of the best. It was the beast, it was the king, so forth, um, and then it went dead. Um, we're all left scrambling, oh my god, direct downloads are done, they're over, and then all these others started popping up. They're going to pop up, they're going to die. Uh, this is a cat and mouse game, it always has been, always will be. So just bear that in mind, and let's move forward. Catch you all in the next one.